Welcome to the first day of Dog a Day painting challenge of July that I'm challenging myself to paint one dog a day. Woo! So let's see if I can hang in there. The very first day uh, is a golden retriever and it is just the cutest little golden retriever. It has the sweetest smile and that's what really drew me to this, this pretty dog. So to begin, I am laying down the beginning layers of my watercolor painting. So it's just this mix of yellow ochre with these browns, undertones, and that's what I'm doing on this first layer. And now I'm going to keep adding more layers. So that'll mean like the darker browns will start to enter into where the shadows of the face are, underneath the chin area especially. This will be done in many layers as it, the paint dries. I'll continue to add more. Um, I really want control over where this paint is going. So I have to be very patient as you all know if you've experienced with watercolor. Um, so what I do is I just kind of hop around all over, all over the dog's face. So then from here, I'm starting to add in more of the rich uh, orange and umber colors to really give the, the golden rich um, coat. So I'm just adding really light washes, so mostly water, a little bit of paint, and just working my way around. So now I'm just ready to start adding in some more of the dog's features. This is where it starts to become more realistic and working on the tongue, the nose, uh, starting with the nostrils and then adding um, some lighter washes around there being uh, Careful not to add too much color at first because it's harder to take it away than it is to continue to add So now it's time to work on the darkest part of the dog which is the fleshy area around the mouth so I'm using a really uh, pure Payne's gray paint and I'm just making sure to leave some of the white highlights because it is um, reflecting areas of where they may be wet. And now I am just really uh, making sure that the eyes are going to really start to come to life here. So this is where I start to outline the eyes and really being careful about not painting in the really bright of the white. Now I am working on adding in the really dark um, contrasty colors within the face, so the eyebrows and the bridge of the nose. This is just working in many layers, so uh, the rich colors really start to help develop the face of the dog. The trick here is to make sure that you're painting your hairs in the direction that they appear on the dog, and that'll create more of a 3D and sculpting effect, and it just really makes it look more realistic. So I'm just really adding in those final uh, layers and details. So anywhere that needs to be darker is at this point where the dog is really starting to develop its shape and the face and the facial features. And then I will start to use my Dr. Martin's PH Bleed Proof White, which is my favorite part of the entire process. So this is where I use my really fine brush, double zero point, and I add in anywhere that needs those highlighted hairs. And that's it. That's today's dog a day golden retriever. Hope you loved it.